to Whipple Will Holler and welcome back to Miss Lori's Kitchen. Today we're going to be doing some appetizers. Just a couple. Um, Y'all know how much Miss Lori loves her appetizers. And since people are going to be bringing the new year in, having little parties, or maybe just family get-togethers, nothing big. And just maybe because you like appetizers, like I do. This is a three ingredient, and this is what some people call cocktail meatball, slow cooker meatball uh, appetizers, jelly <laughs> uh, meatballs, just whatever you want to call it. I just call it good. But this is a 32 ounce bag of Italian meatballs, and they're frozen. They come out of the frozen section. I get these at Walmart, uh, Kroger's, everybody pretty much has these and carries these. Now, if you don't want to use the already frozen, you can use your own homemade meatballs, but you just want to make sure that they're cooked thoroughly before you do this right here with them and make appetizers out of them. And they'll just be especially good that way. I've got some chili sauce. This is a 12 ounce bottle of chili sauce. And then for a little something different that I'm gonna be doing, I'm not gonna be using grape jelly. I'm going to be using a peach jalapeno jam and a lot of y'all make your own homemade pepper jams and jelly. I got this at the Mennonite store and I keep these in the pantry. If not bought homemade, I always have jars of this in my pantry because there's so much that you can do with this stuff and it makes everything taste so good. But this is, uh, and you can use different ones. You can just use the, the plain pepper jelly. Uh, there's raspberry, jalapeno jam, there's strawberry, there's just all different kinds. And uh, But the peach is one of my favorites, and that's what I'm going to be using today. But you can use any flavor that you want. Uh, you can buy this online if you're not able to get out and get to the store much. In fact, I'm going to look. I do have an Amish online store. It's not the one here that's around me. They're, they're not online, but there is one. That I have ordered from and I'm going to look for that link for y'all because I know a lot of y'all would like to have a lot of these products that come from the Mennonite and Amish store but you just can't get to them so I'm going to try to find that link for y'all so look down below my videos in the description box the information box just click on where it says more and the information will come down and that has all my information has all my recipes and it'll have links to different stuff that I think y'all might like but anyways, this is just so simple, and you can double this recipe too. This is 32 ounces of your Italian meatballs. Whoops, and one just got away. I'm going to use a whole jar of chili sauce if I can get it open. Mr. Brown's not here this morning to help me. He had a chance to go sit in the goose blind this morning very, very early and maybe get a shot at a goose. That's something he just has always wanted to do, and he had that chance, so he took it. In fact, he had to be, he had to catch a ride at one o'clock this morning to get there. So you know how dedicated he is. So we're gonna just pour all this chili sauce on top of these meatballs. And I know a lot of y'all have made this, but y'all have used grape jelly in it. But this recipe is just gonna bring it over just a little bit. And if you want to, put a little water in there, swish around, get that out which is what I'll do. Now, I'm not gonna use, this is a 18, 18 ounce jar of pepper jelly. I'm not gonna use the whole jar. I might. <laughs> this thing was not, I had done used out of it though, so let me see. Now, pepper jelly, it just depends on, this is not a very hot and spicy pepper jelly. This is a little bit on the, uh, not mild, but medium side, side. so it's not going to make anything you put on it just so spicy you can't eat it. It's just going to make it taste so good. Plus, with the, the peach in there, it gives it kind of like that, that hot but sweet uh, taste. So I'm just going to measure out, I'm going to say that's a cup. But you know what? You can put as much as you want. And that's all there is to that. I'm going to put the lid on this. I'm going to put it on high. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm going to put it on low for about four hours. 
I'm going to, once this stuff starts melting, the jelly, the jam and stuff starts melting, I'm going to start real good. But it's going to be on low for four hours. And then we're going to come back and we're going to look at them, see what they look like, and then we're going to taste them. But this is a wonderful appetizer. So let's put the lid on this, plug it in, and we'll be back in about four hours, guys. These are the three ingredients to your hot pepper jam meatball appetizers and you're going to get anywhere from 12 to 15 servings out of this recipe but you can double and triple it this is your ingredients for your dip now i showed two boxes of your queso there but you're only going to need 16 ounces one pound and this is going to feed about about 20 servings so you're probably going to want to double this recipe because people are going to be coming back for more and more of it but it's one of the best a uh, sausage queso cream cheese dip. It's wonderful. It's another three ingredient appetizer. And I was wrong on that. And I'll tell you why it's because I forgot the cream cheese. So this is a four ingredient appetizer, which is okay because everything in there is so good. Now, I told y'all that I had another slow cooker and this is my Hamilton Beach that I got at Walmart a long time ago. And it's a six quart slow cooker so i got it out now you can do this in the microwave or you can do it on the stove whichever i just know on busy days when you're you're trying to get things together your slow cooker is your best friend that's for sure so the first thing we got is we got i've got a mild can of rotel we're just going to put in there now a lot of times you know if i don't have a can of rotel i don't sweat about it because i've always got uh, diced up tomatoes and I always have a four ounce can of uh, green chilies in the pantry at all times. I mean I, when I buy some I buy a whole box full <laughs> because I use them that much. So I've got a whole can of Rotel and I've got eight ounces of cream cheese and I had something here. I'll just use this. It's all going the same place anyways. And I'll put this on low. And then I've got the uh, the one pound of Velveeta queso. This is the white queso. Now you can just buy the regular one pound of yellow Velveeta, whichever you like the best. Both of them work. Now, if you want, if you're feeding a lot of people, you need to double this recipe. But since it's just me and Mr. Brown gonna be eating this, I don't need to double it. So when you see the recipe, just know. I need to double this because I'm going to be feeding quite a few people. So I've got one pound of Velveeta, the white queso, eight ounces of cream cheese, one can of uh, Rotel, and then I've got my one pound of uh, sausage here that I cooked up and strained, and uh, a I made this at Christmas time, and uh, we made it with taco meat, and it was good, too. So you can do it that way, too, if you don't want to do a sausage. Me and Danny like the sausage. We also like taco meat, but we like sausage because it just gives it that little bit of different taste. So anyways, all I'm going to do is put the lid on this. I'm going to put it on low for one hour, and then I'll stir it, and uh, I mean, it should be melted by then, but I want to put it on low that's for sure, and come back and check it. It don't take long for it to melt. But like I said, you can do it on the stove or you can do it in the microwave, which either one. And it's a delicious dip that you can have done pretty quick. Okay, our meatballs look really good. And I've done tasted them. I couldn't wait, I'm sorry. But uh, four hours, and they are good, 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 good. So I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna plate them up and Kind of present them a little bit but these things are so good it's been an hour well a little over an hour on low and you see our cheese dip is good and melted now i checked this after it's probably about 35 minutes and everything was starting to melt pretty good but i could tell that and i always usually have to end up putting milk in it because it's just too thick for me so I put about two thirds cups of milk and then just put the lid back on it. 
And there is your cheese dip. And this is some really good stuff. Well, everything's done, and I wanted to kind of present it to you. Even though it's just me and Mr. Brown here eating this, it don't matter. I wanted to uh, bring these recipes to you. And, uh, of course, the cheese dip, you're going to be serving a lot more than that. I just wanted to bring it out into a bowl and show you. But if I was serving this, it would stay in the slow cooker on warm so that it doesn't, you know, set back up. But I just wanted to, to bring it out here to you. So this would be, you know, what somebody's plate would look like with a little bit of cheese dip on it. And this stuff, I promise y'all, is so good. Whoops. Don't make a mess like I do. Really good stuff. So good. Mr. Brown loves this stuff. The meatballs, you can serve like this. And just let them get some put on their plate. Or you can serve it like this on toothpicks. And they could pick it up like this and eat it. Just like that. And my mouth is full. <laughs> now, this right here is uh, the peach pepper jelly or jam. Is what was left over and I just put cream cheese under it I took out about three-fourths of a cup that was left heated it up for about I don't know 30 seconds stirred it up and just put it over the cream cheese and you just serve it on crackers this stuff as simple as it is is some of the best I absolutely love this stuff and I don't even care what flavor pepper jelly you use. It's always so good. But this is always a winner at parties. Your cheese dip, your meatballs, they're always a hit. So guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this recipe. And I hope you give every one of them a try. They're simple. I, I use the 18 ounce jar of pepper jelly and made two different... Uh, appetizers out of it and uh, I, I just can't say enough about these meatballs <laughs> but they are delicious whatever's left over I'm not worried about it you can store them in the refrigerator or you can put them back in the freezer just put them in a good container because they'll heat back up really good so you're not and I don't think you're gonna have any left anyways so all of this really was not that expensive Probably the most expensive was the Velveeta cheese, and we all know how expensive that stuff is. But all these recipes will be down in my information box below my video. And you can double, triple these recipes, whatever you want to do. But you can get them together pretty quick. Guys, I hope y'all have a wonderful weekend, and I hope y'all bring in the new year safely and happily. And just put your worries aside. Give them to God. Um, I mean, he's what we lean on. He's what we depend on. And he's going to take care of us. He's going to take care of us. God loves you. So, we'll see you on a couple of days. It'll probably be next week, about Tuesday or so. But we'll be so ready to see y'all again. So, y'all be, be careful. We love y'all. God bless.